I was at a conference earlier last year, actually, I was with Blaine in Denmark, and uh, Heidi Baker was talking. She was talking about feeding millions of children, and, and she was talking about how she's believing for one million, one million meals to feed these to feed these children, and I was struck by that. Wow, she's believing for a million meals. I was thinking, wow, Lord, I don't think I believe that big. And I, had, and I heard a whisper in my ear from the Lord, and he said, oh, that's because your God is too small. <coughs> I was wrecked on the floor weeping for hours. My God is too small. If, if the Lord said to me, your God is too small, then that's not our God, you see. Because it's nothing for God to provide a million, a million meals. I'm asking you this morning, how big is your God? You must let him expand. If you're going to expand, if you're going to make room, if you're going to resettle abandoned cities, if you're going to impact the nations with the offspring that come from this church, your God is going to have to be big enough to do that. I don't know who you're believing, but which God are you believing? If you're believing the God of all the universe, nothing is impossible for him. See, your fear is no surprise to God. He knew that in every era, Isaiah's and in ours, that our human experience, suffering, the consequences of our sin, the, the suffering of the sin of others, the brokenness of this world, the suffering that we, that we experience, the imperfections of our understanding, the impossibility of making any prophecy come to pass, that in that we would develop a poverty mentality, that we would surely have performance anxiety, and that we would lose our confidence. And so he says in verse 4, fear not, for you will not be ashamed, you will not be confounded, you will not be disgraced, you will forget the shame of your youth and the reproach of your widowhood, you will remember no more. And as Pastor Eugene Peterson writes it, don't be afraid, you're not going to be embarrassed. Don't hold back. You're not going to come up short. See, listen, we have everything to sing and shout and celebrate. We are an audacious people that are about to make room in the midst of impossible circumstances to see God move and do the impossible. And how, how can we stand so firm? How can we stand with such faith? At faith, I'm telling you, because we have a sure foundation and we have a sure resource and we have a sure reward.